Today's St. Patrick's Day. Many areas in central Ohio are kicking off celebrations early, and that includes Dublin. The city had to postpone its plans last week because of the weather, but Krista Frost is here to talk about today. All of the events will be in full force. Oh, you lost your little tight pad. You look so cute. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to change it up a little bit and just keep it uh, pretty simple for, you know, some of these. But I've, got, I've still got some spirit, right, going on here. And I know a lot of other people, they're going to have their spirit, too, because it is, yeah, St. Patty's Day in the city of Dublin. We know that they play it up pretty, pretty big as much as they can, really. Of course, the past two years, it's been a little different because of COVID-19, but now events are back. So let's show you what things look like. Back in 2019, you're going to recognize this video here because, of course, it's the city of Dublin's parade that they have their St. Patty's Day parade. And this year, as mentioned, yeah, that parade was canceled, but that was because of bad weather that we saw this past weekend. So city leaders are working around that. So today they'll have a family day celebration that starts at 430 this evening at Kaufman Park. So you can expect to see those parade balloons there. But that's also with some music, some dancers, even some axe throwing, so plenty of events. And this is just some of what the city of Dublin has planned for today. It's just actually going to be in Coffin Park um, on our north end of Coffin Park by our rec center. And we'll shut down that road um, just from the time that we're open from 430 to 7. But there's also activities throughout the city of Dublin, especially Fido in downtown Dublin is going to be having their St. Patrick's Day party. And there's a Celtic cocktail trail and some other things that are happening throughout the city. So a lot going on in Dublin today, and obviously this is a big tourist attraction, but also a big money maker for those restaurants, those businesses, those pub owners. They're going to be making a lot of money, and they're really looking forward to that because, again, they've been missing out on that in the past years, really. But how exactly are they preparing, especially because those COVID protocols, we know that they've changed a lot recently. I'm going to tell you what you can expect if you're heading out today. That's coming up in about 25 minutes. But for now, reporting live in Dublin, Krista Frost, 10 TV News. And Krista, the Dublin link behind you looks great this morning. Thank you. Columbus is hosting its annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in just a few hours. Here's the route for the parade. It stretches from West Broad Street to High Street, then ends at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. It all starts this morning at 1130.